All right, I've got something different today. This is just a quick little update to the existing video that I have. The normal video I've already put together will follow after this one. And it, of course, like anything, if you like what you see and you want to learn more, I always leave you a link in the video description so you can learn more about the things we have at Halet RV and what we're asking with each equipment package. So this spring, a funny thing happened. While at one of our sale events, I bumped into one of the head engineers from Winnebago Towables. And I said, what, what are you doing here? You know, he says, my job this year was to build a better Murphy bed. And I said, well, my God, partner, we carry Murphy beds from just about everybody on the market. Um, I can tell you everything you want to know about them. He says, well, what's important? I said, one of the biggest fault points of Murphy beds is that you usually don't get any pass through storage. And um, the other th fault points, the ones that do have pass-through storage, they have these weird folding mattresses. So you have to make the bed every night, and that's not fun. And I said, if you can find a way to fix those two problems at the same time, you will have built the best Murphy bed. And guess what? Winnebago has built the best Murphy bed on the market. Look at this. They have the largest full pass-through storage of any Murphy model in existence. This is the, the tallest, widest pass-through storage of any Murphy model out there. They still have the front little saddlebag storage. They didn't waste that. You, they actually increased the size of the baggage door, and by the way, it matches on both sides of the coach to give you absolute maximal outside storage capacity. They've actually increased total cubic foot of outside storage in doing this. But you also have a one-piece fixed mattress that you don't have to make every single night. And to help demonstrate this, I have uh, recruited a, uh, a recurring face, Mr. Michael Snyder here. How are you doing? He's <laughs> yes, Jenny, I'll, uh, I happen to have a 2160S. I'm oh my gosh, he's here. cheesing it up. Stop it. Stop it. In. I can see your phone. I can see you're not talking to anyone. Anyway, so... I, I wanted you guys to see, first of all, Mike's a big guy. Mike's one of the few guys here that's either my size or, or maybe a little taller. We're not sure. Show them how this bed goes up, Mike. It's very hard. Not. <laughs> that's all there is to it. It's just, it's just amazing. It's amazing. I... Now, the first question I had is, uh, go ahead and have a seat, Mike. I yeah. said, okay, so the bed sticks out a little ways because of the bullet nose uh, curvature of the front Winnebago uh, design. Is there headroom here? Mike, you're a big guy. You're sitting here. You're not leaning forward. It's, there's all the room in the world back here. I mean, there's plenty of space back here. And I mean, it's flip it and forget it. Fli oh, I like I it. Mean, the Ronco. Flip it and forget it. What are you going to do? Go ahead and put the bed down for us. That's what we're going to do. Absolutely. And by the way, it does lock in the up position. Though when you're traveling, you do want the bed down. And look at that. Look how easy. This is That's the amazing. fastest, simplest, easiest, bestest Murphy bed design out there on the market today. You still have your side stands. You actually have bigger side stands for the sofa or the bed now. You got your outlets for your CPAPs or phone chargers or anything like that. There's just really no downside to this, and you no longer have to make the bed every single night. So thank you very much, Mike. Guys, if you have questions about this one, give us a call, and don't hesitate to ask for Mike. <laughs> Obviously, he's looking to have a little See fun ya. with you in your new camper purchase. So, um, again, the, the full video will follow this. This little snippet supersedes anything else you should see. I was so excited about this, guys. I'm not, this, I think, is a, a best-in-class thing. They've got, like, a pair of 100-pound rated struts to help that bed go up and down. Um, and, it, like I said, it locks in the up position, locks in the down position, so you don't got to worry about it flipping around where you don't want it to. And think about this. If you just don't want it to be a Murphy bed, you have two options. You've got the 2106 FBS, which is the non-Murphy bed version of this, or leave the bed down. Just don't ever put the bed up. Uh, remember, the bed's supposed to be down in transit, so there is room for the slide out to operate here. There's just really no downside to this one any longer. This is now, I feel, the best Murphy bed on the market, and you're going to watch this thing get copied over and over and over again. So as always... Links in the video description to check price and availability. Who brought it to you first? Halet RV brought it to you first. Give us a call. Give us a swing at bat. And I don't think you're going to regret it. And that's why we send Winnebago's east coast, west coast, south, north, everywhere in between. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping, everyone. Rest of the video following now. 2106 DS Winnebago here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a dual sofa model. But don't knock it till you tried it. That sounds really weird and it sounds superfluous. But when you see how this thing's laid out, it actually makes sense. Um, this floor plan made a believer out of me. The first time I saw it on paper, I'm like, well, this is dumb. And then I walked in it and I actually sat down. 
And you guys know how you can look at something in the catalog, but then when you try it on for size in the dressing room, it just fits different. This one just fit right. That's the best way I can describe it. It just fit right. If you'd like to see how it fits, say, your pocketbook or your driveway, because you need specs or you're curious about a price tag, I leave you a link in the video description right down there. You're one click away. It says check for price and availability. It'll whisk you away through the magic of the interwebs on a magical journey to see what the 2106DS uh, runs and how we have it equipped at our dealership. Understand the one that we have here in stock could be very different from the one that you see in this video. So I'm going to try to point out where you might expect to see those differences. Um, and I'm also going to try to point out areas where I feel this trailer has punched through to do an exceptional job. I uh, seem to be an uncommon person in the RV world. Perhaps it's just the variety of trailers that we carry here at Halo RV. But um, I, I seem to find, a, I can generally find a value in about anything. But I find a lot of exceptional qualities on these Winnebago's. First of all, the skin package. Now this is one of the, the less aggressive skin tones, the nice platinum here. But you see that big red cherry bomb right next to it? That is another color option. They have seven different color exterior options on the Winnebago's. Plus, I don't know, depends on the time of the year, two to three to four interior combinations available as well. So again, the one I have in stock could be drastically cosmetically different from this one. Um, I did not used to be a real big fan of their platinum exteriors because they just had these boring white stickers on them. But they made this nice light, dyke, uh, light uh, dark, there we go, high contrast, I'm, I'm mashing words together today, um, package, basically, their graphic decal package. And it looks so much more three-dimensional. It's got so much more character and just, I don't know what it is. It instantly brought life to this product to me. Um, that says a lot. I get, you know, I see so many of these at Halitz. I get numb to this stuff. So when I see one that I that I go, ooh, that looks good. It just, it really jumps out at me, you know. Um, this is a narrow body, easy towing model. It only weighs 3,780 pounds. Um, narrow body, it's seven and a half wide instead of a full standard eight foot wide. That means that this is probably not any wider than your tow vehicle. So it's easier to see around, it helps cut the headwinds. Um, it also runs on a different chassis. There's this is an aircraft style huck bolted chassis. Um, it's lighter yet stronger than traditional I-beams. Other things I want to point out, absolutely unrivaled, best in class fiberglass. If you get up next to this and you look, uh, you can see, I mean, look at the reflectivity of the slide wall here. Let me go up to where you're not going to be staring at a slide out. You can, I mean, you can see the reflection of that house in the distance almost plain as day in this. It's almost got a mirror-like finish. This is a T60 gel coat exterior. You probably don't know what that means. That's industry term. What this means is this is diesel pusher skin, kids. This is two to three grades above anything else in any similar size or price point. It is just an absolute unopposed best in class thing they do. What are some other nice things they do? Their windows tilt open for airflow on rainy days. Um, they also put bigger windows in the bedroom area to give you more light because lighter feels brighter and brighter feels bigger and bigger feels better. It's just, that's the truth of it all. Um, aluminum wheels, which uh, with a nice looking Winnebago hubcap on there. And you see these galvanized steel wheel wells up here. This gives you a little protection from those radials. Let's say, God forbid, you catch some debris going down the road, you get a flat tire. Well, that's going to give you some protection so that this thing doesn't, uh, you know, the, the belted radial doesn't bust apart the, so, you know, your slide out. Right above that's your slide. You don't want it to damage that. Um, construction, let's knock that out real quick. Fully aluminum framed. That's one of the things that helps keep the weight in check on this. We've got plywood, 5 8 floor decking. We've got a 3 8 walk-on roof deck. Um, we've got normal uh, insulation levels for ultralights, you know, so there's nothing exceptional there. But uh, the, uh, you know, all aluminum nature keeping this thing held together long term, especially on that aircraft style chassis. These have been coming through our service quality checks for the last two years now, virtually bulletproof. There's just, they just don't come back. Interesting things too, you don't usually see separate cable and satellite hookups on a small trailer like this. Winnebago does it, even on these little guys. Black tank flush, outside shower. You know, not, not earth shattering different things, but it is important that they're there. That full walk on roof is easily accessible via the roof ladder on the back. And something that I like about the Winnebago's right now this season, last year, holy cow, partner, uh, they had a laundry list of available options. 
Well, they found out that almost every dealer, like 99% of dealers were building them almost the same way. So the way that we've been building this as a dealership for years is now essentially just standard. That is good for you, ladies and gentlemen. Standardization is good for you because now all of these extra nuts, bolts, widgets, and whistles, and whiz bangs, and, and etc., they're built into the, the, the like book value tag of this. A lot of those extra options are hard to get money out of after the fact. Now you don't gotta worry about it. Now it's just worth more. So you might see how the base price of the Winnebago's went up this year, but the actual price really didn't. That's a cool thing. Power awning, one touch, a nice little tilt adjustment to it. Uh, that's something that we find on almost every trailer here at Haylitz now. It seems to be more standard than less standard. Uh, a full length LED light strip at the base of that as well. We've got our exterior marine grade speakers giving us some outside entertainment. You actually do have TV hookups here. You've got your hookups right next to the wheel well under the awning. And if you feel like mounting a TV on the outside, they give you a little indicator where they do pre-mount a backer. Um, by the way, 18 gallon per hour gas and electric fast recharge water heater. A lot of trailers have that, but some trailers, especially small trailers, don't. That's one of those things with the variety of RVs that we see at Haylitz I'm kind of in tune with. Those fine details. Other fine details. Big entry handle. A double step instead of a single step where you typically find it. And a big pass-through storage. In case you're curious, we've got this... 30 inch wide baggage compartment. I haven't measured the height yet, but this is a little bit taller than industry standard, but you see it, it's huge inside. And to give you an idea, this big, ugly UPS looking brown box that I got right here, um, this is the double propane tank connection system and propane tray. They actually ship that loose on these smaller Winnebago's. Um, that is in here and it's dwarfed by all the extra size. And if we look over here a little bit closer, just a wee bit closer, we see the battery disconnect switch. Again, we carry a lot of brands at Halet RV. That is something you don't typically find on little campers. It gives you the ability to hard cut off the battery because your, um, your stereo, your TV, your furnace, your refrigerator, your water heater, they don't turn off. They go into standby. It's called phantom load. Um, they actually still draw off the battery. That little red switch allows you to hard kill that battery so that it is still charged and ready for you when you come back. Again, that's the different stuff that we find here at Haylitz that you don't find on a lot of other brands. And every attention to detail paid, including a little strutted entry door, so that the wind doesn't catch this door and smash it into the awning. Because if you hit that awning arm sideways, she's toast, partner. That's it. That's, that's just all she wrote. Um, step it inside here. This is the granite decor, like a rock. <laughs> as Bob Seeger would say. Um, you've got darker uh, leather tones with uh, some nicely accented, and I, and I love the, the, the sort of wave and shape and character on the window treatments in here. Um, this is one example of how a 2106DS at Halo RV could look, not necessarily the example of how every 2106DS at Halo RV could look. Just like a car commercial, guys. If you see a car in the commercial, it's probably not the one sitting at the dealership, right? This is the same, we sell a bunch of these. Um, we order these usually half dozen at a time to give you an idea. Um, so immediately, you're probably noticing very, very different looking decor from industry standard. We got this very light, bright, airy decor. It's one of our favorite parts of the Winnebago's at Haylitz is they just look so ma massively, massively different from everything else. Now this is a sister floor plan to the 2106 FBS, which means front bed slide as opposed to dual sofa. It's the exact same layout, but instead of this sort of pretend half Murphy bed that we're looking at here that I'll show you in a minute, it has two, or it has a, a full fixed bed up front and then just a sofa slide. We'll get to that at the end. Actually, I'm going to, uh, let's, let's just get to everything. We'll finish up with this. Totally carpetless. Even with the slide out, this is a completely carpetless model, easy to clean. The linoleum has that nice light look to it. The granite decor in this one, I mean, I the, the phrase is cheesy, but bam, it pops. I mean, it, it just snap, crackle, pop. Um, especially with that, that nice black and white outline on the new platinum exterior, you walk in here and the interior, exterior, the granite and platinum together look good. I hope we keep stocking them like this because this looks good. Um, we do still have central AC in this little thing, which is pretty uncommon. And remember, we've got these bigger bedroom windows so that we get tons of light in here. So even without the lights on, which I do have on, it's still nice and light and bright in here. We still have a real cabinet overhead. We've got an extra vent over the front bed so that you can get some excellent, excellent airflow at night. There's a big side stand they leave over here so you folks with your CPAP machines, you're all set. They give you a full-size wardrobe on that side. Some people like one, some like the other. So Winnebago gave you one of each. 
you know, try to split the difference here. Um, the slide outs, you start looking at this, like little detail stuff, you know, like the nicer hardwood slide fascia. They, they do some things a little, you know, uh, just a step beyond industry standard. There's nothing wrong with MDF foam slide fascia, medium density foam. Nothing wrong with that, but there's good and there's better. This, you know, which would you rather have? Would you rather have foam stuff or would you rather have hardwood? You know, that's what we're getting here, real wood stuff. One of the small details that I sort of keyed into as I was walking through this compared to last year's model is the the sofa armrests. Those nice little bolsters, those weren't always there in the 2106 DS. So that tells me that they're listening to customer feedback and they're tuning this thing in, just really dialing it right into exactly what people are looking for. I think this is where the 21... This is actually not, I think, this is literally where the 2106 DS won me over. At first I was like, why do you need two sofas? And then I realized this sofa bang, is facing right at your entertainment center. This is where you're going to want to sit. There's nothing wrong with this sofa over here. This actually still serves quite a bit of function and purpose, but this is where you're going to want to sit for couples camping and entertainment purposes. You got the perfect view of your HD TV. Uh, you know, you've got easy remote control line of sight for your Bluetooth DVD CD stereo up there. And this is all, um, what am I want to say, like shock tested, so it's made for mobile RV applications. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, looking over here, kitchen. We've added an upgrade here where we went to the full stove with stove cover as opposed to just a little two burner stove top. It, you've already got, like it already had, um, well we also upgraded to a full size refrigerator freezer. So it's a small camper, but it gives you all the big camping full-size appliances of a larger RV. Um, your sink, you can see, is stainless with a double bowl to it. Uh, we like to include the sink covers with these so that you can flip that down and use that as prep space. It's exactly the reason that we upgrade the stove, to give you more prep space as well. And that is real backsplash, by the way, not wallpaper. And you've even got the little uh, countertop extension here so that when you need that extra little nudge of space, you got it. Some people are going to say, yeah, but it's in the way of the door. I understand, and you're not wrong, but counter space is very important, so take it where you can get it, and if you don't use it, don't use it, that's fine, but I, I promise you're going to find a reason for it. And even their drawers here, you can see how big they are, they don't waste anything, they're all plywood constructed, full extension, and you do have outlets obviously in your kitchen that are easy to get to, all ground fault protected. By the way, behind this little sofa, we have a little floating utility table. A little card table, if you will. You can put that here so that when you're, you know, eating a meal, or you can put it in front of the sofa over here. When you're eating a meal, you have the perfect little spot to, like, you know, set a plate down, still watch TV. You can play some cards. Take it outside for a picnic. Do whatever. It all it all works. Um, I think I talked about central air. If I didn't, well, there you have it. Small trailer with full central air. This rear bathroom, though, is fantastic. And bathrooms are an area where I see RVs often get left behind. Again, we carry a lot of different brands at Halitz, and these guys are doing just an amazing job in here. And it's a, it's a hundred little things. For instance, we have both a power vent fan and the skylight over the shower. The little radius on the shower door will give you like four extra inches of elbow room. You look at that, you're like, eh, yeah, big deal. It's got the radius bar. Stand in one with the radius bar and close it, and then pretend you're soaping up your hair. And then stand in one without it, pretend you're soaping up your hair, and then tell me four inches doesn't make a difference. It absolutely makes a difference. And this is a large shower The big American-sized people can get into. Rejoice, America, you know, have, have a good time. Um, even a foot flush stool right here with plenty of leg room in front of it. If you notice, there's plenty of area there for your legs so you don't have to do some goofy uh, crisscross bathroom yoga or nothing like that. Now, here is an area where I think they just really nailed it. Let me back up. I'm actually going to stand in the shower. They have a monstrous additional rear closet back here. So if this needs to be bathroom storage, it needs to be bonus linens, whatever it is, you can, I mean, you will always find something to do with storage space. You will never trade in an RV because it had too much storage. There's never such a thing. Even in the bathroom, we've got nicer stainless. All these little things, guys, are why you look at the Winnebago's compared to some of the other brands that we have here at Halitz, and you say, well, you know, they're a little more money. Sure, you got the fiberglass, you got the better chassis, you've got the nicer stainless, you got the hardwoods. There's a hundred little things that go into it. And yes, I can find you a less expensive ultralight. This thing's gorgeous. Oh, oh, yeah, I almost forgot the whole Murphy bed thing. So this is, I don't know the technical name for it. I don't know if there is one. I call it a half Murphy. 
So that sort of folds down. The bedspread you can use to kind of uh, hide the mattress if you want, um, or uh, you can just sort of leave it flip back if you want. This is a little trickier to do with one hand, but you can see it's still not complicated. And there you have it. Now in case you're curious, this is not like a bunkhouse mattress. You can see how thick this is. Put my hand next to it for scale. Still a large, thick, full mattress. Now, ha! Ah, we have, this is basically what the 2106 FBS looks like. We've got a, a full-time bed up front with a sofa slide on the side. They both come with that extra little utility table. This one just gives you the flexibility of flipping the bed out of the way um, for a, a half Murphy here. But here's what's really critical, guys. A lot of Murphy beds, a, a full fixed bed, Murphy bed, where the whole bed shifts up and down, you lose this. And this is where that 2106DS is just crushing it. Because it's a it's a, a functional Murphy bed that's very easy to set up. Um, but it still has big time, big time outside storage. And that's something I don't see a lot of here at Halet RV. And we carry a lot of different Murphy bread. Uh, bread. Ah! Ah! Murphy bread. This, is that like monkey bread? Doesn't matter. I'm an idiot. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. We're Halet RV, we're in Coldwater, Michigan, and you are not too far away to work with us. I don't care where you live. These things are on wheels. We can get in there. We only do everything at Halet RV. Hitches, pieces, parts, financing, trades, accessories, truck and trailer, package deals, RV delivery. You, you literally have nothing to lose by not calling us. What am I saying? <laughs> you have nothing to lose by calling us except thousands of dollars. I'm heavily medicated right now. I've, I've been on Sudafed all day and all kinds of like DayQuil and stuff, so I think I'm just mishmashing my words too much. I'm going to cut this off before I quit rambling. <laughs> and I just thank you guys for hanging out. Give us a call. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone. Have a good time.